Well, hello everybody, it's Tom again, November Zero, Zulu Echo Tango. I had a couple questions uh, from a few people, uh, brother-in-law and some other folks, on how do we get communications, let's say with GMRS, uh, really get some good range out of it. Well, there, there are so many variables involved, you know, like I said in, in many videos, uh, from terrain, uh, what's around you, elevation. So, so a lot of things to take into consideration. And it's kind of trial and error. So you, you want to start off with the cheapest thing first uh, and, and work your way up. So let's just say you've got a, a mobile in your home that you're using as a base station. You've got some decent uh, coax that goes up to uh, your roof. And you want a good vertical antenna to put up there. Uh, like I said, spend the money once, cry once, and you're done. And when you look at vertical antennas for, and we're talking GMRS, the higher the gain antenna, and it will say it in the description, the, in, in general, the better it will transmit and the better it will receive. And they can range from, heck, I've seen almost minus db gain in some military antennas to some amateur uh, antennas that are plus 12 13 up to 15 uh, db gain which is really good so then you want to figure out okay it you know before you waste well, I shouldn't say waste some money because you'll always be able to use the stuff, but is it is it actually doable? And when I say doable, you know, we're, we're talking, what's the distance? Are you down in a, in a valley? Are you, do you have mountains between you and the person you want to talk to? It, if that's the case with the mountains, well, it, good luck unless you want to put up a satellite or a, massive tower, something like that. And, and we're talking from point to point communications, not going through a repeater. Uh, repeaters are very nice, but we're talking, there's a natural disaster, an emergency, something, and the only thing you have left is your handheld radio, your, or excuse me, your base station and your home to communicate. And what you want to do is figure out, okay, first thing is the distance. Are you 50 miles, 60 miles away from them? And, and I'm not talking, oh, it, it's 50 miles to Billy Bob's house. Well, that's driving. How far is it? from, as a crow flies, from point A to point B, a straight line. You know, and you can simply take out a map uh, and look at it, okay, one inch equals a mile or, or whatever that map is, and put a pen where you're at and a pen where they're at. You go, oh, okay, it's only, instead of 50 miles, oh, it's only 30 miles. Okay, that's, that's, that's doable uh, if the terrain is right. Uh, then next thing you want to look at your antenna because antennas are really where I say you should start with any radio uh, for transmitting and receive. So you got a good antenna, you get it up on your roof. It's like, God dang it, just not making it. You know, uh, and, and when I say not making it, are, are you very can they hear you and are they just hearing scratch or very scratchy hard to understand then there's there's a couple things you can do there height is key 
Okay, is your antenna just on a one-story home, just right off the top of the roof? Well, can you put a tripod on the roof and add a 10-foot antenna mast that you can get at Menards, Home Depot, uh, Lowell's, <clears throat> and it, it's fairly inexpensive. So you put your tripod up there, you put a, let's say a 10 foot section up there, and then you get your antenna up on that. So now you're adding probably 13, 14 more feet. You know, the height of the tripod, the height of the mast, and, and, and a lot of times just having that little extra height will, will make a big difference. Now there's something else you can do too. Uh, and, and unfortunately, there's no exact, oh, do this or do that, because I, I won't say that. You, 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 it's, it's trial and error, what will work, what won't work. Uh, but start off with a good base antenna for your home. Uh, something else you can try, which is fairly inexpensive, and this is a Yagi antenna. It's, what? 39 inches long approximately so a little over three feet very light and this one uh, this is a seven element Yagi you can certainly get them uh, much bigger where they have more directors down here and there are a lot of uh, places well not a lot but but quite a few that, that use these for equipment. Uh, whether it's sensors, they've got things out for the, uh, for the state, for the highway department. You know, it's transmitting weather data from remote weather stations. Um, a lot of amateur folks use these. They're, they're really, really good. I've got, I've got one for uh, two meters that's, oh my gosh, a little over 10, 10, 11 feet long, something like that. And I use that for working a lot of sideband on two meters, VHF, uh, and, it, and it works wonderful. So you can get this. I wanna say this one here uh, is about $60, uh, very easy. And you mount that up on that pole and figure out, you know, with a compass, which direction that person is you wanna talk to that you wanna have good communications with in case of an emergency. Aim it at them and give it a shot and try it. That's all, that's all I can t tell you is, is you almost have to try it. Well, you really do have to try it to see, will it work? And then, you know, like I said on the verticals, do I have to go higher? Is there something big between us that is just not allowing it, that signal to get through? Uh, one nice thing about these is they really do help pull in the signal and where a vertical, if you look at some of the antenna modeling software, it's, and you look at the pattern, it's, it's a big circle for a good vertical antenna. Uh, so it, it transmits 360 degrees in this big circle. Oh. I knocked over this little turd here, uh, where a Yagi antenna or a beam antenna, uh, it, it goes out in a big lobe, like a big teardrop. So it's gonna push that signal in one direction. <clears throat> so you can aim it at your buddy, your family member, whomever. Uh, now let's say you've got someone over here, and you've got someone else over here, two different directions. Well, you know, and you've already tested, you know this works, well, oh, dang it, now I gotta climb up on the roof and re-aim it to the other person. You don't wanna do that, especially in a uh, climate where you get a lot of snow and ice like we do here in Minnesota. And if this is the only thing you're putting up there, it's very light, you can go on Amazon. Uh, I don't even know if the, like the Menards or Home Depot's carrying them anymore. They may online, but TV rotors. 
A number of years back, everybody had a huge TV antenna up on their roof. And they put a TV rotor up there, antenna rotor, on this thing. And then they'd run the wire down and they'd set this little box on top of the TV and oh, we want to get channel 18 and, you know, you'd get up and you'd spend that dial to point it at that TV station so you get a better signal. And you can actually use that on these here. And and for for what they are, for a little antenna like this, it, they work quite well, you know, so you don't have to spend a lot of money on, on, a, uh, on a big uh, antenna rotor. Now, another thing, if you get into antennas like this, or even your your vertical antennas, you know, I talked earlier about, or in another previous video, about having a SWR meter. So you can hook that up to your antenna, and it will tell you the SWR, the standing wave ratio. And... Right here, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little tuning bar, and if the SWR is too high, and you want, uh, if you can get to a one-to-one -one match on it, you're, you're doing really good. And I'll tell people, if you can get it to at least one to five or below, you're doing good. When you start getting up into the uh, an SWR of two, three, four, five, and, and much higher, well, then you can do damage to your radio and your antenna isn't very efficient, so it's not gonna work very good. But anyway, so you just take this, this little bar here, it's a tuning bar, and you can move it up and down uh, to adjust that SWR. So then you've got a good, good solid antenna that's matched very good for the frequency that you're gonna use and, uh, and away you go. Uh, once again, any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And at that, have a great and wonderful blessed day.